I'm Ron Marshallsey and this is your sports update. On Sunday, the cross-country team ran in the Division IIA Championship and senior Dylan Hamway finished in 13th place out of 169 runners. Hamway will be running in a state meet next week in Devons, Massachusetts. Good luck, Dylan. The football team lost a tough matchup against the Natick Redhawks last Friday, 36-13. The team is looking to end their season with a win on Thanksgiving morning when they take on the Marauders away at Dedham. Speaking of Dedham, we want to wish good luck this weekend to our Thanksgiving rival. Both the boys and girls soccer teams are playing in the state finals, and last spring the Deadwood Co-op lacrosse team was able to create some high school friendships. Also, the principal of Dedham High School is an NHS alumni and member of the Hall of Fame, Jim Forrest. So good luck to the Marauders. NHS grad Sean Quinn, a freshman on the Plymouth State football team, has caught up with some teammates this past season. Here he is with Danny Aloyde, a defensive lineman at Framingham State. Then he headed down to the canal and caught up with Mark Murphy, the starting quarterback for Mass Maritime. And here he is with Joe de Blasi, who plays tight end at Westfield State. NCM is always looking to showcase Norwood athletes who are continuing their sports careers. So if you have a good story, or even just some pictures, we'd love to showcase it here on Sports Update. There was a big game under the lights at Norwood High, as the Norwood Bolts and the Mansfield Hornets faced off the play in the 8th grade girls soccer division 3D season finale. It was the first opportunity for the girls to play under the lights and it was a very close game. Norwood dominated in the second half, but unfortunately Mansfield won the game one to nothing. The future of Norwood High girls soccer looks very promising. And finally, the Massachusetts Basketball Coaches Association held their Hall of Fame banquet this week and during it, Norwood High School and Norwood News' own Kristen McDonnell was named one of the boys' Division II coaches of the year. Congratulations, Kristen, and all the coaches who were recognized and or inducted at the banquet. And that's all I have for this sports update. I'm Ron Marshallsey.